New Jersey towns are so unhappy with JCPNL's response to Sandy, they're talking about creating their own public utilities. The towns of Madison and Butler already operate their own utility companies, and the power came back on only days after the storm. Officials say neighboring towns in Morris County are asking how they can start their own company. FEMA has added two new disaster recovery centers in Nassau County. They're located at Mitchell Field, on Charles Lindbergh, Lindbergh Boulevard in Uniondale, and through Monday at Cedar Creek Park on Merrick Road East. And Seaford that makes 31 such centers in the state. WCBS News Time 852. Twihards push it to the midnight hour to cheer on Bella and Edward one last time. CBS FM's Deborah Rodriguez now with entertainment news. <laughs> Alive. Twilight fans stay up late to catch the midnight screenings of the last in the series, Breaking Dawn Part 2. It was awesome. Awesome. A great finish. They threw some extra in there. I like it. Kira Knightley gets kudos for the new Anna Karenina. If you have any thought for me, you will give me back my piece. New York Post says it's not your grandmother's told story and gives it three out of four stars. Lincoln opens wide, and Jennifer Lawrence getting big ups for the new indie Silver Linings playbook. On the X Factor, Lyric 145 and Janelle sent home. Kate Stevens, Carly Rose, and Vito still in the top three. Drug charges dropped against Bon Jovi's 19-year-old daughter, Stephanie, the day after an apparent heroin overdose. You gotta have hope. The Yankees are coming back to Broadway. Producers say the focus will be on the personalities, triumphs, and private moments of the 27-time World Series champs. That's entertainment from CBS FM. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Want to win an iPad? You know we're giving one away every weekday on WCBS 880 at 820. We told